This is officially the smallest apartment in all of New York City. A lot of you watching this know me as the guy who creates travel guides to exotic places around the world. The guy who did a workout with Thor, and of course the guy who tours luxury apartments around New York City. But not many people watching know that back in 2015, when I started this YouTube channel, I was living in a 250 square foot studio apartment with an ex-girlfriend at the time. That's two people living in a space the size of most walk-in closets. It's important to lay this backstory because when I first moved to New York City, I was broke. I was living paycheck to paycheck, I had a ton of student loan debt, so living in that tiny apartment was my only real option to be in one of the only cities in the entire world where you can move here with absolutely nothing, not knowing a single person, and make your dreams come true. So this vlog is a special one as someone who's spent two years of their life living in a shoebox New York City apartment. And if you follow my Instagram, you know I recently moved into a 2,000 plus square foot loft, which I'll be touring in the next episode. But it's very safe to say I have the perspective of what it's like to live in these places we're about to tour in today's episode. There he is. Did I ruin your shot? The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Cash Jordan. So if you don't know, Cash is one of the top rental agents in the entire city. This guy has toured how many apartments? You said 250? Oh, jeez. Right so I've made over 250 apartment tours on my channel, but they're not as nice as his tours. As you know, I mentioned, I've lived in a 250 square foot apartment. This is kind of going back like a blast from the past. Let's see, we're at the first place. And like I said, these apartments are only going to get smaller. The final one might be the smallest one in the entire city. And they're all smaller than what you just mentioned. None of these are 200 square feet. No, forget that. That right there is 3rd Avenue. On the other side of us is 2nd Avenue. We're in Midtown East on 53rd Street. And uh, you see that tent city? Those are actually restaurants. So if you walk out your door, you might gain weight. You ready? So here we go. Nice welcome. All right. So for the main hallway, we have the actual apartments. We have four units here. Ready? Here we are, first apartment. Door stays open. Oh wow. This is actually not as bad as I thought. Number one, because we're facing south. True. So we have the sunlight. But this is a, uh, yeah, this is a tiny apartment. What it's, is the square footage? It's not a bad place. Let's uh, let's check the square footage. I got the, uh, the laser tool. Yeah, what do we have here? 17 feet, seven inches by six feet, six inches. How tall are you? Six, four. So if you go horizontal, your head and your feet are gonna touch the fridge. Roughly 18 by six, so like 110 square feet, not counting the bathroom. So maybe it gets up to 175, 150 square feet max. This is the biggest place that we're seeing. Your bed, I can't see another spot for it than in this corner somewhere. And I think you're gonna wanna get the smallest bed that you can. But once you've got a bed here, really, Past the fridge, I mean, it's gonna be a small table and probably like a TV mounted on the wall and that's the setup. I, I wouldn't put a couch here. What's crazy, most people, they don't do a Murphy bed because they're gonna live here for like two years. Mm -hmm. They didn't have one in their parents' house growing up and it just doesn't make sense when, oh, I might move in with so-and-so in a year anyways, why am I gonna spend more than I need to, right? Exactly. Let me show you guys the bathroom. So, Again, this, I'm happy that this is like normal size. Need to get an extra light bulb up there. But at least it's like a normal size bathroom. The fact that it has a bathroom. The fact, the fact that, I mean, you'll see later in the video, but the fact that there is a bathroom in here, you know, that's a luxury. Yeah, it's yours. This is not a bad apartment. It's a good place. It's just small. The kitchen and everything was redone like a year ago. You've got all normal size for New York, normal size appliances. Any of the other 49 states, that's not a normal size stove. I love how in New York things just become normalized. Like this becomes a nice kitchen for an apartment like this, but also like the nice lacquer on the cabinets, good storage. Pretty much this it. is the nicest place we're gonna see. And what is this? So then we have oh, that's this your, is it. This that is, is your closet. closet. And that's it. What is the rent for this place? So it's eighteen hundred with some free rent, so it nets out to fifteen. This is the starting point of this video. Like Cash was saying, the nicest, the largest yes. from here. It's just, uh, this is the big guy. It's not horrible. For $1,500 a month, if you're just moving to the city and you're looking for that first apartment, this is not a bad first apartment. 
Cash was just saying it's been a while since he's taken anything but the subway. There was a point when I first moved here where I would bike from the Upper East Side down to the Meatpacking District because I couldn't afford the monthly pass. That's crazy. In my mind, 100 and I think it was $120 a month was like, Did that's food. Yeah. That's food right there. So I biked from the Upper East Side. I'm talking year round. We're here on McDougal Street. We're by Washington Square Park, New York University. Fun neighborhood, not Midtown. Definitely a more desirable neighborhood. You have all the cafes. It's much quieter. You're on a tree-lined street. And this place is smaller. Yes. Correct? And cheaper, but definitely smaller. And maybe the neighborhood's a little louder. Let's go check it out. All There's right. a code I have to type in. So do Don't, this is, no, I can't show the code to the internet. But the fact that we have a code that's a little level up rather than a key entry, we have a code. Yeah. Let's head on in. I don't know if we're all gonna fit. Come on in. Oh. I, I don't have, do you see this? Here, Diego, spin around. This is the smallest apartment I've ever seen. You're, you might be too big for this apartment. Like, my wingspan is almost the entirety. This is probably, what, nine foot? Go look at the bathroom, dude. Wait till you see that. Are you seeing this in the frame? So for some perspective, like, I'm a pretty big person, but <laughs> I picked up the entire door of this bathroom. Bathroom sink, we have a vanity. The shower is just in the middle here, sandwiched in. You have the shower rod to then cover the water from getting on your toilet. I've never seen. I don't have words for this. I'm not like this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. On a positive note, this is technically a self-cleaning bathroom because everything's gonna get wet because your shower's right here in the middle. And you have the nice shower caddy. I can't believe this. I mean we're gonna have to take some measurements, but this is You have to go inside. Look, you had to turn. I, I you can't I look straight had in. to turn like this to get out. I had to do the side shuffle to get out of the bathroom. And then we have the I guess you could call this the kitchen with the kitchenette. Uh, the kitchenette, we have a sink. So nice storage area. You could put a hot plate here, I guess, uh, and You've plug got it the, in. Uh, the faux marble right here on top. From the kitchen, then we have the mini fridge, microwave combo, some nice shelves to store whatever you like. And then in the corner where Diego is, is where the bed would go? Yeah, I don't see another place for the bed. I mean, it's gonna have to go here. This could be the bed, so this is technically a loft. So <laughs> could, if this holds, should we test? Yeah, I mean, you have insurance? Does, does Eric have insurance? So you could sleep up here. This holds uh, 215 pounds. Wow. So you would put a ladder there and then this would be the bed. And actually, look at this. I'm just noticing this. See that spackle? Oh, yeah. Someone. Someone had a ladder. You know, we gotta look at the positives when renting because this whole video is about you're just moving to the city for the first time. You're looking for that first place. So on the positives, you have a huge window yep. with tons of light bouncing off that window. You have the fire escape, which is, this could be a balcony, you know. You mind if I pop out there? At your own risk. So let's head out there. You have your own, I guess you could call this a, a terrace if I can even make it out here. Okay, got the shimmy out here. Okay, we made it. So you do have technically an outdoor space and it's actually interesting. Someone has the drying line here with the clothes clips. You could even have a garden out here. Someone has a plant box. Like Cash was saying outside, you are paying for the neighborhood. We're on a beautiful tree-lined street in the West Village, but back into the apartment. Let's go take some measurements. If I can shimmy on in here. From the medicine cabinet to the tile, what is that, two feet? Yep, just two, oh, two point five. Oh, that is a tight shot, man. Right there, 1.7. Let's get the measurement That's of the crazy. actual space. So I'm so, like, what is this space? So let's do a Oh, jeez. All right, well, kitchen counter. Just about eight feet. Yeah, it's just under eight. Yeah, depending on where I put it, like right now it's 7-Eleven, sometimes it's eight. So like eight by nine. Eight by nine. Eight by nine, 72 square feet. 72 square feet and it's all yours. $1,200 is what this nets out to. So it's cheaper and smaller than what we saw first. It definitely has less, but like Eric mentioned, the neighborhood here is fantastic. And since you'd probably be paying $1,200 for your own bedroom in this neighborhood to get an apartment that's the size of a bedroom, is that the same deal with no roommate? It might be. Took a little hiatus. We picked up another member of the apartment hunting squad, and we're seeing 
Is this this is it? This, this is, is it. One. And you know what's funny is we have another member with us, and this is the smallest place. And you said it's pet friendly. It is pet friendly. So St. Mark's Place, fun neighborhood, right by you know New York University as well, since it kind of takes over downtown. But definitely an awesome block. Lots of restaurants. This is it. This is it. 14 St. Mark's. Right. Theo is excited. Look how look at this dog. He's just like foaming and chomping at the bit to get in. Let's go, Theo. Come on. Not bad. This is actually a pretty impressive entryway. So this is the nicest building that we've been to so far. Diego's gonna go in there and film our reactions to seeing this, but don't say anything when you get in there. <laughs> I want to just I want to have the reaction. You good to go in? No, let him get in position. Get as far back as you can. All right, ready? All right, let's do this. This can't be legal. This is it? This is it, man. What? <laughs> what? We're home. What is the square footage of this? This is... Oh, let me get the tool. There's a bunk bed here without the bottom bunk. We've got a loft going on. A sink. I guess this is the kit. Is there a bathroom? It's out in the hallway. Oh my gosh. The hallway bathroom. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what to say. You could never live here with a dog. That's what I'm thinking. People Unless do it. It was a tiny dog, but could you imagine this dog living in here? <laughs> the door almost hits the sink. And this is your, I mean, this is the kitchen. You have a little mirror here, medicine cabinet, this tiny sink with storage underneath, mini fridge, microwave, comes with a TV at least. We have the bunk bed, which is pretty awesome. Good use of space. True. The loft above. So my shelving, closet, two, two fluorescent lights. From your high school gymnasium. Wow. Just for some perspective, I wanted a shot of myself and Theo in the frame. I can actually go and put my arm almost across the entirety of this apartment. This is six, like six, eight wingspan. So this is probably just under seven feet. Cash is gonna take some measurements, but also check this out. This is just a reality of living in a place like this. If you're a tall person, just, I mentioned in the last place having that natural sunlight. This is a true alleyway view. There is, I mean, there's a little light. We're on the top floor, but you look down, it's just nothing but brick. It's great if you have no friends yet. <laughs> if you're still working on friends, if you don't have them yet, this saves you some money. What does this place go for? So right now, these are between $10.95 and $11.95. And these rent, right? Yeah. People rent these. The fact there's people willing to pay, 1100 a month. I mean, this is smaller than a college dorm. Do you want to know something crazy that I didn't tell you about this apartment? I lived in this exact unit in 2007. This exact <laughs> unit, I lived here. And I had like all this stuff I tried to move in and none of it fit, so I had to throw away half my furniture. And at the end of the day, I had the bed, which was up, and I had like a little futon, which is where he's standing, over by the window. My clothes, I had enough, like a slim enough wardrobe that it did fit in the closet. Like I just, I was like 22, I just wanted to be in the city. But you made it work. I made it work. So if you're watching this and you're looking to move to the city, it is definitely possible. Don't say the rent's too high, excuses. If you want to move here bad enough and you have that dream, it's right here, contact Cash. All the places that we've shown in this video, Cash is actually renting out, so they're all down below in the description, along with Cash's contact information. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, go subscribe to Cash. He is the rental guru here in New York City. Anything rentals, this guy can help you out there. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.